Uh, this is Sean Roberts. Uh, I'm Chief Technologist for Lincoln, uh, Lincoln Network. This is Lincoln Shorts. I have with me uh, Matt Dunlop, Maine Secretary of State. We're uh, talking about some questions from the voters' perspective, and, and here's one that's come up. Hopefully, this is a, a weird one-off, but um, what should the voter do if they've registered absentee and possibly, or uh, and even sent back their ballot or dropped it off already? And they decide that they want to vote in person to, I guess, double check or uh, make totally sure that their vote counts. Um, That's a great question. And there are circumstances where you can actually do exactly that. Okay. And uh, probably the, the, the most relevant situation would be you forgot to sign the envelope. Oh, uh, excellent. Signing the envelope is our connection between the voter and the ballot. Now, you know, obviously you have a secret ballot. So how does that work? You know, we actually score and pre-fold our ballots in such a way that if you take the ballot out of the envelope, you cannot see how the voter voted unless you open up the ballot. Okay. So um, you know, we have a pretty tight chain of custody. So the, the voter has to make an application for the absentee ballot. They can do that in paper. They can do it online. We have an absentee ballot request service, which has really been improved this year. Uh, they can call their town clerk. Either way, there's a there's the application that is that is the unwobbling pivot upon which the whole system turns. So you get your absentee ballot, you mark your ballot, you put it in the return envelope, and you seal it, and you put it in a drop box or you mail it back. You've forgotten to sign the back. Well, right. you don't just call it, you know, the, the town clerk will call you and say, gee, Sean, you didn't sign your absentee ballot envelope. Oh yeah, I must have forgotten. Uh, it's okay. No, it does, that's not how it works. You have to get another, another ballot in which case uh, you go down to the town office, you get another ballot, you mark it, you sign it, you seal it in that envelope and you sign that envelope because the one that's not been signed has been rejected. Okay. Um, you know, Would the, it be a provisional ballot, the second one, or is that? No, it's, uh, we don't have provisional ballots. Uh, oh, so, okay. so even under the challenged process, which is sort of similar to the provisional uh, absentee, the provisional ballot process. And that, that happens most frequently uh, with election day registration, somebody shows up, they finally decided, yeah, it's important for me to vote. I'm going to go vote. So they go to the polling station. They have the registration table. Well, you have to have proof of ID and proof of residency. Oh, geez, you, know, you left your wallet home. So you can still register. You get a ballot that has a secret number on it and you vote it and it is cast and counted. And then after the election, the registrar will then follow up with you to complete your registration. Right. Or if there's a recount, the recount supervisor will announce at the recount that there's a secret number on a ballot, look for it, segregate it, and then they follow up with the voter to make sure they're a qualified voter in that precinct. Uh, the secret number is then taken off once that determination has been made and it is shuffled back into the, into the pile of ballots and it is counted as part of the final official tally. Um, so that's how that, we always kind of default to the rights of the voter that way. Um, but otherwise under main law, let's just say that you, you, know, you vote for you know, George Washington, and it's like, oh, why did I vote for George Washington? I meant to vote for John Adams. If you've already sent your ballot in, too bad, it's gone. You can't get another ballot at that point. Okay. But if you mark it and haven't returned it yet, you can take it to the town hall and say, I made a mistake. They spoil the ballot and they issue you another one. Um, but once you formally returned it, it's been accepted, it's gone and done. You can't get another ballot at that point. It's a cast ballot at that point. That's yeah, correct. the term, right? Well, wow, that was very informative. I didn't think of it from, from that angle of uh, not signing the, the uh, absentee ballot, but that's, that's an excellent point. I didn't even consider that. Um, so there, there would be no way if you forgot to sign it and you didn't remember that you didn't sign it, it's basically, it's, it's uh, gonna be, wow. it wouldn't be considered a spoiled ballot, but- um, Rejected, but we have new rejected. technology this year where you have that same online system, the absentee ballot request service, you can actually get in, you type in your full name, your date of birth and your town of residence. Right. And you can see if your ballot has been received by the town clerk and whether or not it's been accepted or rejected. Excellent. And okay. If it's been rejected. You can call and contact the town clerk and say, what happened to my ballot? And uh, certainly if there's enough time to fix it, you can get it fixed. Excellent point. Okay. Well, I'm glad I followed up on that. That's, that's an excellent point. Um, well, thank you. That was very informative. Thank you so much for being so generous with your time. This has been Lincoln Shorts. Well,